<clears throat> center to beam. Greetings Candle Power Forum users. This is Mr. G-Man and Big C coming to you once again from the backyard of truth. Tonight we have four flashlights we're going to compare. They all have, <clears throat> except for one, XPG uh, LEDs in them. In my left hand, on the far left, is the Deary light with the turbo head and the new 300 lumen XPG LED in it. It measured 240 lumens coming out of this turbo head, but it has the hotter, smaller hot spot. In my right hand, we're comparing it to the Deary light a spheric system. It has an R2 LED. It's the only R2 out here tonight, but with the aspheric in there, you can see the hot spot is much brighter. Next. Next is the TLS uh, with the XPG R4 from Nailbender, 276 lumens. And on the far right is the Anto XPG R4 that did 306 lumens right over here on the far right. All right, so everyone can see how beautiful the um, the aspheric is. So we'll just put that one on and, and get the others off for a second. That's the aspheric. Right now, we'll compare the two turbo heads. In my hand, again, is the Deary Light turbo head with the XPG LED in it. And, and, on, and on my hand over here on the far right is the turbo head from TLS that. You can screw in any P60 drop-in, and right now it has a Nailbender XPG drop-in. All right, now we want to compare the XPG in a regular P60 head to show you how much bigger the hotspot is. Kill the one in your other hand. So move that one over a little to the left. There you go. So I'm going to shut mine off. That's the XPG in a regular P60 type head with an orange peel reflector and the beam at uh, we're about 40 to 45 feet to the neighbor's wall from where the camera is compared to this it's a much bigger and softer uh, beam because the lights spread out more all right so we've compared four flashlights tonight in the backyard of truth and that concludes this portion of the testing